Oh, that was a sick eight. What is that? Whoa. Whoa, that's big. On my channel, you usually only see the successful trips. The trips which go to plan and where there are plenty of fish caught. Unfortunately, this certainly is not always the case and sometimes plans just don't come together at all. The first trip started off with a 2am start out on Western Port. We struggled to catch any bait at all, but we still went out in search of a really unique shark which I wanted to show you guys. Five hours later, with no decent runs or bites at all, we suddenly and pretty unexpectedly had it's our on. first and only run it's of on. the morning. What is that? It's been a miserable little morning so far. This might turn it around. Definitely a chance it's another. After a fairly short fight, I wasn't expecting anything too special, but it go. actually turned out to be one of my favorite species. It's a snapper. It's a snapper. Yeah, we've got a snapper. That's a big snapper too. There we go. Look at that. This trip actually ended up being the highlight of the next following days, as we attempted to film multiple other videos with extremely little to show. I mean, extremely little. I feel like it's a fact that persistence and effort always pays off, but after all of these trips, which didn't seem to work out, I was really starting to be tested. And that brings me to today, where we are out on this tiny, but absolutely beautiful little system, and the plan is just to completely explore it, also try out some new techniques, which I've never done before, and hopefully catch some fish. Now, to keep things interesting, throughout today, what I want to focus on is trying out some new lures. I'm pretty sure this thing's called a softshell cicada, and it actually lives up to its name. It's got a really soft body on it, and apparently it's an absolute perch killer. We also have a hard body lure tied up on my other rod right here, and then we have some soft plastics, which we might use later on into the day. But my goal for today is just to break this miserable curse, which I've had on me all week, and hopefully today will be the day. Not even sure how to use these things. I'm just gonna slowly wind it and then pause it. Fish in a very, very small system, extremely small. Oh, we're on. <laughs> we're on. That didn't take long. What is it? Little EP? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, on the little cicada. He fully buffed that. He's only a little one, but he's aggressive, I'll tell you that much. There we go. He's only a pup. He's actually one of the smallest ones I've caught in a long time. But that's actually my first ever fish using this cicada lure. And that was a sick eight, even though he was small. Off he goes. <laughs> How sick was that on that little cicada over there? First ever fish using it. Pretty stoked on that. Wonder if there's any more under there. That was a sick eight. <laughs> Just a boof. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Pulled hooks. <laughs> that was nuts. He hit it so hard he made a loop knot. He was right over there. Let's see if he comes back. There we go. <laughs> Another one. Oh, that one feels a bit better. That one feels a little bit better. Yes. <laughs> they love the little cicada. That's crazy. Yeah, it definitely is better. Much better fish. Much better fish. Yes. Wow, look at this beautiful little spot we found. This tiny little creek. And they are destroying the little lures. <laughs> Damn, that is so sick. Shh. Off he goes. How cool is this? Fishing with this soft shell cicada, you can actually push it down. It's like a little soft plastic surface lure. It's really weird, but the fish seem to be loving it. And it's really, it's got a really cool action. It kind of just wobbles across the surface. Looks really cool. We've had three hits and two hookups. Just this, oh, another hit already. I don't think he felt hooks. We just had another hit, next cast. He was almost in the exact same spot. Oh, he's boiled on it. There we go. Oh, pulled hooks. He grabbed it. That was probably that same fish. Only looks small, but. There 
There we go. Oh, that's a better one. That might be a better one. <laughs> Come on, hook stay in. And that's the exact same spot. There seem to be a few stacked up there. Oh, swimming at me. Swimming at me. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. He's a big one. There we go, that's better. <laughs> seem to be a heap of them stacked up just out there. Well, that fella right there is a solid estuary perch in anyone's books. 37 centimeters on that little surface cicada lure. Beautiful fish. Let's send him off. Bang. <laughs> oh, he hit the bottom of my kayak. How awesome is that? The third fish on the little surface lure. I'm stoked. You'd think there wouldn't be too many more feeding in that area. We've already got two and had a few hits, so... Probably that'll be it, but never know. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> what? There we go. Another one. Oh, pulled hooks. There we go. Another one. Pulled hooks again. Literally missed four in a row. Maybe that's it for this spot. No, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's not bad either. He's not bad. Oh, <laughs> he's definitely pretty good size. Oh, that one crunched it. <laughs> oh, that's epic. Another cracker. Having so much fun on this little cicada lure. As I've said, we've had such a miserable week. Such a miserable week filming and fishing and finally we're having a good session. When I first got out here, I was like, wow, there's like no water in this little system, which there isn't, but there's obviously fish in here as well. I'll tell you what, these fish, they literally must just be sitting like just above the weed or maybe even in it, because look how shallow it is. It's only like two, oh. <laughs> wasn't even looking. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny. Oh, that's crazy. What's he doing? Oh, this is a good one. Got him. I was just saying, it's only like a metre deep. So these fish, they must be hiding in the weed or just sitting just above it to ambush these fish or the cicadas or whatever they're expecting to be on the surface. Beautiful. Off you go, buddy. Surely there's not any more around there. Ridiculous numbers that are stacked up around there. Oh, again, are you serious? We literally just released the last one. That is crazy. Literally just put the last one back. Next cast, we got another one. Oh, actually a bit of weight on this one. Unless it's still on there. Nah, it got off in the seaweeds. There can't be a, f oh, there is no, it's still on there. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. Got me in a bit of, got me in a bit of kelp and we still got him in. He got in the seaweeds and thought he was all good, but no, we still had him. <laughs> 37. So they've all roughly been around this size, 37 centimetres and below. So that's still cracking little fish. And there he goes. Nice. 217 foot. Nice, Laurent. Oh, that was a sick egg. Very surprisingly, this crazy surface bite actually continued for over the next half an hour. Another we one. landed many more fish and actually at times we're catching them cast <sighs> after cast, which is unheard of for me. <laughs> I swear, like whenever you put in the hard yards, eventually things are going to turn around like this morning. Although truly an epic bite, as the morning went on, it eventually slowed down. We then decided to change lure profiles and switch over to the old faithful soft plastics they certainly did not disappoint. There we go. First cast. First cast. <laughs> Are you serious? I was just about to say, this soft plastic is actually fairly different to what I would usually go for and a little bit bigger, but they did not mind it at all. What? Not a bad fish. He's only just on. Try to lift him up. Yep, got him. Wow, that's epic. He was only just pinned in the top of the mouth, but that's where you want him. Let's let him go. Man, what a crazy session we're having. The best estuary perch session I've ever had. See you, mate. Off he goes. 
After a first cast special, we continued to make our way upstream and we actually managed to pick up a go. handful of smaller estuary perch. With the bite slowing down and the front camera dying, we then headed back down to where we caught the majority of our fish. It actually continued to be very quiet, but then on the last cast of the day, something special happened. Oh, that was a hit. That was a perch. There we go. There we go. That feels good. That feels very good. He's not running though. Just shaking his head. That feels big. That's big. That's very big. He hit that twice. That's a very big one. He's got big head shakes. What is that? Whoa. Whoa, that's big. Is that a perch? Is that a perch? This thing's huge. Whoa. This thing is huge. Is that a brim? What is that? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Look at that for a brim! Holy demon! Man, look at that for a brim. How unexpected is that? I have no clue how long that thing is, but it is ridiculously big. <laughs> that is a donkey. Far out, take a look at this fish. Nose is right on the front of the mat. You go all the way up to the back. 44. <laughs> that is a donkey. What is it doing in here? Look at that. Giant. Let's get a look at this fish. I'll tell you what, there's not a much better fish you could end off the day with. That is an absolute tank of a brim. 44 centimeters, I'm pretty sure that is my new personal best brim. Look at that, on that little 2.75 inch little paddle tailed soft plastic. So let's get the hook out of this bad boy, get him on his way. We'll just push him off and hopefully he goes. There he goes, there he goes. Look at that. Cruising off. <laughs> I didn't even know there was brim in here. Well, I don't think there's a much better note that we could end off the video after that 44 centimeter brim. We had an absolutely amazing day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.